Hey everyone, it's time for Dr. 8-Bit Love Sexy Fun Time Variety Hour with your man, your myth, your legend, 8-Bit Mickey. Dr. 8-Bit Love, how are you doing today? I'm doing great, guys. Welcome out to Dr. 8-Bit Love Sexy Fun Time Variety Hour only on live.lorecat.com with me, 8-Bit Mickey, as, of course, Dr. 8-Bit Love. And right before I introduce everyone and get the show started, I gotta have to start off everything with... I do not have a PhD in love. I do not have any sort of training in love or sexual desires. Any sort of use of my knowledge or the knowledge of my peers may result in being hurt, slapped, uh, electrocuted, raped, rabies, uh, festus, anything like that. And we'll uh, all play by ear. So let's all have some fun. Let's bring in our uh, usual rogue mis uh, cast of miscreants. Of course, we have Lord Katz, the owner of the stream. Uh, Oi! What's going on, Mickey? He is sexy. Oh, um, I am sexy. God. I am so sexy that I played not one, but two sessions of Dungeons & Dragons last weekend for a total of 16 hours of Dungeons & Dragons. Oh. Oh, wow. I just I'm not going to get laid anytime soon. Or, or you're going to get laid by me. That's that's what's going to happen. That's what's going down. Um, of course, we have um, our sexual deviant, our the, the the sex appeal of the show. I mean, this person. Ah, I just get ah, I'm 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 hard just thinking about it. And of course, I'm talking about the one, the only, the sexual, the divine, Tor of Anime. What's going on, man? Oh, not much. Not much. Having a good week. Uh, spending time. Uh... With the girlfriend and whatnot, so that's been doing fun. Oh, that's awesome! Good to hear. And of course, we have my partner in crime, my nurse, my uh, associate, Nurse Joy. What's going on, trapped kitten? Rawr. I'm just excited. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> I'm a special. And, of course, we have a special guest on the show. This person sent me an email a while back uh, as saying he has experience in the uh, adult industry uh, in looking up uh, love and the psychology of sexual and human relationships is a weird hobby of his. Of course, I'm talking about our guest on the show tonight, Jack. What's going on, Jack? Not much, not much. Hanging out and listening to things. Uh, not much else. Well, that's awesome. Glad to hear it. Of course, we start off every show with uh, going through our large selection of emails. We have, let's see, let me see if I can count it out, 27 emails this week. Uh, that is awesome. That's a lot more than last week. That's about twice as many as last week. Um, Boy, that, so that's almost enough for a whole show right there. We may not get through all of them because usually we tend to go off on a topic, and since we have a guest, we're going to... Um, talk about our guest a little bit after uh, answering. Actually, we'll talk to our guest a little bit before emails because you know, let's see where his area of expertise comes into play here. Um, but before we get all started, um, I just want to say everyone have a good week last week. Yeah. It's been a good week for me, you know, um, doing things, getting things done, losing money to the federal government, that sort of thing. That's cool. I want to bring up, I got a new mic, um, and I think we talked about this a little bit earlier before the stream started, but um, I think my voice sounds so much sex sexier now that when I have this new mic, I spent at least $200 on this audio setup, so it should sound good. Um, <laughs> um, so just, I'm not, not bragging, but I am better than all of you, except for Lord Cat. He... If you're going to start bringing up dollar figures, I think I could trump you by several thousand. Yeah, I was just going to say, um, Lurkat spent a small fortune on his live stream. And, and I um, haven't stopped spending money on it. Help me. Help me. And we can... And, we can, <laughs> and it's... it's it's We've been working out, so congrats to him. But let's uh, move on to um, Jack. In your email you sent me, you work in the adult industry, or you have. What's What's that all about? Uh, well, basically, you know, back in high school, I kind of toyed with the idea, you know, when I came of age, uh, working in the industry, and I I always thought, well, maybe that's a little perverse, maybe I shouldn't do that, but I ended up turning 18, and I'm like, well, I'll go out for it. So, you know, I looked around, and I found this uh, website, uh, sexyjobs.com, where you can look up, you know, acting jobs, but you can also look up 
uh, the more technical jobs, um, sort of uh, lighting, editing, uh, makeup, graphic design. And, you know, I did a couple jobs and didn't do too bad. So what was it like working on a porn, man? What porn? Can you tell me what kind of porn, which ones you were on or sites or were you in um, movies or just websites and stuff? They were films, but... Uh, oh, films. Can you name off one? I'm going to look one up. I can't <laughs> quite remember the names. It's been a while, but probably have them written down somewhere. Um, yeah, they were they were pretty basic. Uh, I think I worked on one solo flick, which was a uh, girl, and then there was, I believe, a... It was a DP flick, but I can't quite remember any names. I think... Not, not DVD, DVDA, Dove Vagina, Dove Anal? Uh, no. No, no. It's a little no, much. No DVDA. Yeah, so. I'm still pretty much an amateur in the industry, you know, but it's not that bad. It pays well. All right. So you're hoping to uh, move on further into the adult films and perhaps one day star on your own or make your own? Um... Yeah, hopefully, eventually. I'm kind of looking for an agent right now, which isn't that hard to find, but, you know, you gotta prove to them that you are kind of worth it. Oh, yeah. Oh, of course. Um, so, it also, in your emails, you've explained to me, um, you say that your hobbies include, in your free time, you study the psychology as a sexuality and human relationships. A weird hobby you know, but, uh... What's that all about? So, what's your what kind of, what's your favorite thing to read about? Um, just in general, the, the the psychology, the sort of different things that evolution has given us as people that have sort of caused these different things, as sort of sociological differences that have actually caused us to act the way we have. What's sort of sprung forth the different ways that we react to different things, the way we treat just certain fetishes, all of that. It's just really fascinating to me. That's awesome. I uh, now that that's a little too technical for my interest right here, but hopefully you'll bring some knowledge, enlightenment to our episode this week. And um, yeah, I got booted from the chat. Um, apparently, everyone. Sorry, I just apparently the chat just got reset. So um, uh, yeah, no things happen. Let me ask you this, uh, Jack. Uh, you said there are a lot of different positions. Obviously, you know, there's this cameraman, there's lighting, there's this editing. Uh, what, what part did you take part in? Um, I personally, on the couple of videos that I have worked on, I did lighting. Hmm. Uh, I did do a little bit of makeup, uh, which, you know, for porn, it's kind of amateur stuff. But It's also know, important, it, though. It is important, but it's uh, not exactly something you have to have a skilled hand to do. You, you don't want to see the pimples on the star's ass. When I see a porn, I don't want to see flaws. I want to see the perfect, overly perfect, in fact, guy or girl doing really? that double penetration. Because I'm different like that. I, I, I prefer flaws in all men. Give me, give me complete amateur, and, and I'm digging it. Well, I'm, I, of course. I mean, that's the amateur ass. Like, I'm saying if I actually you know want to see an actual, like, when I want to see, uh, like, let's say... One of Hustler's films, like uh, one of their parodies, like This Ain't The Simpsons or, you know, one of their shitty parody things. I like the, the over, you know, realism, oh, the over fake. But, yeah, if you, if you want to see amateur stuff, you get you got to love the amateur well, things. Maybe then I'm, like, maybe I'm just alone in this because when I watch a porn, I, I ain't in it to see the girl stare at the camera and wink at me. I, I'm in it to see the porn. I, I'm maybe, talking about... Maybe that's just me. Maybe I'm turning gay. I don't know. <laughs> Oh, Lord Cat. Um, no, I agree with you there. Um, uh, if I'm going to see porn, I'm I'm going for the amateur hour right there. But if I'm uh, yeah. going to have a little laugh, I like to actually see the spoofs. Like, uh, my favorite spoof is Playmate of the Apes. I'm just going on right there. Um, saw that a while back. That was funny. But uh, we could go on a whole topic of porn spoofs, actually. Yeah, it's, um, th that seems to be the basic consensus currently is that, you know, amateur seems to be a lot more popular, but that's mainly because it's become, with the advent of the internet, so much easier to access, so much more likely to be free, that it is kind of killing the more professional uh, aspect of the industry. Plus, uh, you tend to be able to be, find more diverse things. 
Now, when it comes to you know, when it comes to amateur porn, do you guys find that you can relate to it more? Is that why you think you're gonna you like it more, or is it? Do you think it's more like just because that could be the girl down the street? For all we know. Well, I, I, I at least me personally, I'm kind of weirded out when a woman's looking right at my face and she's getting pounded by a big black cock. Um, maybe uh, that's just me, and I'm thinking, no, that's not my dick. Why are you staring at me? <laughs> mm, stare at me. Oh, you don't like the uh, the the the, per, the point of view on porns? Um, uh, well, like this. All right, so there are some points where they're. <laughs> so there are some points where they're like, "Ooh, baby, I really want you," but. Like, take a lesbian porn, right? They're, like, into each other, and they, they're getting into it, and then all of a sudden, they turn their heads directly towards the camera, and they're just staring directly at the camera. I'm like... I've never seen that. That's really, awesome. that bothers me really? so I've much. That. I've never <laughs> yeah. seen that. I guess I'm that watching is... the wrong porn. <laughs> the way you describe it, that does sound pretty creepy, but it's it's mainly done just sort of to... Because you are supposed to sort of imagine yourself in that situation, you know, for the fantasy, and it's to pull you in. But I can see why that would kind of freak you yeah, out. Yeah, but here's the thing, though. It, I'm, I am imagining myself in that situation, but <laughs> With then when you stare oh, at me, I realize I'm not in that situation, and I'm the creepy guy at home masturbating. <laughs> <laughs> creepy guy or awesome guy? No, definitely creepy. There's nothing awesome about being a lonely guy sitting in your living room just going, wow, I can't get laid. <laughs> Oh, we just bashed half our viewers. Oh, I'm just not, now. I'm taking it too far there too. <laughs> Always the best way to start off a relationship podcast is if you're at home wanking it to porn, you're a loser. Good thing you joined in here because otherwise, <laughs> whoa, who knows where you would have been? You're a Our loser just like me. Yeah, see, th we're, we're, this show is all about bashing our viewers and making them feel unneeded because, you know, then they'll come back to us because that's, that's, you know, we're like, like we're, abuse. we're the abusive relationship podcast. I'm just interested to, to hear, if, you know, how does, uh, you know, when it comes to lighting in porno, is, how much more different is it uh, compared to normal films or is it really just more of the same, it's just the focus is sex. Um, well, it's... It's for... <laughs> <laughs> oh, Sorry, I lost my concentration. What was that? Sorry about that, guys. I just I couldn't, I couldn't wait till the show was done. <laughs> Alright, but, um, yeah, as far as lighting goes, it's, it's sort of the same, but it's, again, it's more to sort of minimize flaws, so you have to... A lot of the times they'll do it fairly bright, at least so that it'll, uh, with the makeup, tends to have the sort of shimmer to it that gives it the right sort of look. So, uh, can you tell what companies you've worked with? Companies? Uh, I believe one was Bang Brothers. They, they're pretty huge, so. They are pretty I was huge. Able to get one. In more ways than one. <laughs> yeah. And then, uh... I think that was the only one I worked for, actually. Alright, Bang Bros. Was, yeah. was it the Bang Bus? The Bang Bus uh, is guy, though, by the way, just so you guys don't know. It is real. Shut up. Don't ruin that fantasy for me. It's, it's your car, isn't it? <laughs> <laughs> it's just the fantasy of the... Guys picking up girls, having sex with them, they're just throwing them somewhere. It's it's real, it has to be. <laughs> uh alright. Um I by the way, um, before we continue further, it did I think this needs to be just background noise throughout the rest of my podcast. So I'm gonna be doing this and you guys can just enjoy it. So let's continue on with uh do you guys wanna go on to questions? I mean unless you have any more questions for Jack the porno. Porn star, Jack the porn star. Adult actor. Sorry, it's um kind of a pet peeve of mine. Uh really the, the porn star label kind of only works for people who have done quite a few videos and are really huge up in there, you know, like Ron Jeremy, John Strong. Oh, so it's porn actor. Adult. Or adult adult uh, adult film star. Honestly you can say whatever you want, it all means the same thing. Adult entertainer. I like that. Adult film entertainment. It's classier. 
There we go.